Well, that notion of serving Christ through serving the less fortunate can be reflected reflected greatly in the annual Samaritan Purse Operation Christmas Child Shoebox Project. Thousands from right here in this region put their love and prayers into packing a shoebox that will be sent somewhere overseas to a child in need. Well, again this year, TV44 will serve as one of the 3,500 shoebox drop-off sites in the United States. Have you ever wondered if the box you pack truly makes a difference? Watch this short video and then Mark introduces us to a young woman who speaks firsthand about the message of hope and love that can come from a simple shoebox. When you pack a shoebox full of gifts for Operation Christmas Child, your love is limitless. You never know where that shoebox will go or how it will get there or who will celebrate its arrival, but God does. Your shoebox could dare a child to dream. It could heal a broken heart. It could change a child's life forever. Give a gift of limitless love. Well, it is almost that time of the year once again for Operation Christmas Child, and we are joined now by Todd Edwards, the regional manager for Operation Christmas Child in Arena Creek, who uh, was one of the recipients of that Limitless Love, uh, a shoebox that you received many years ago. And it, it's kind of an amazing story how a simple shoebox with a couple of simple items really turned your life around. That's right. So you were 11 years old? I was actually 10 years old while I was living in an orphanage in Russia. And, you know, people throw things in these shoeboxes, maybe not even realizing how much an impact a a simple hair clip or a, a pencil sharpener can make on someone's life. That's right. It was one of my favorite items was a pencil sharpener because it was in the shape of a dinosaur. I thought it was so interesting. Never seen anything like it. And of course, through that shoebox, you found about the love of Jesus Christ. That's right. Missionaries brought these gifts saying that it represents the gift of Jesus. And so it began my relationship with the Lord with a simple shoebox. And Todd, while Irina's story is unique to her, it's, it's a similar story you hear all the time from Operation Christmas Child. Actually, we do. I mean, when you think of the over 113 million shoeboxes that have been distributed in 130 countries around the world, her story is unique to her, but this story is reoccurring all around the world. So, phenomenal. Where did Operation Christmas Child get its beginning? Well, in the United States, uh, in 1993, Franklin Graham was asked to see how many shoeboxes he could collect from the Americans to be sent to war-torn Bosnia. And they just expected uh, maybe a few thousand, and they ended up with 26,000. So a pastor from Wales who actually began the project, he said, Franklin Graham, you're welcome to take this on. And, Ever since then, it's, it's history, right? Uh, we're still collecting shoeboxes every year to the tune of nearly 10 million this past season and hopefully going over that this year. Mm -hmm. And uh, Irina, as an adult now, why are you so involved with Operation Christmas Child? Obviously, it made a huge impact in your life many years ago, but, but now you're continuing on with that mi ministry. Well, that's right. Uh, the need is great for hope around the world. And I now have this hope, but the fact is my orphanage is still filled with 150 kids. And around the world, people just don't know that they can be adopted by this Lord and Savior. So it's our responsibility to share, and Operation Christmas Child is one way we can do that. And personally, it impacted me very much, so it's my joy to share. As you tell people your story, do you get surprised reactions from folks when, when they hear how, how the shoebox made a difference in your life? Yes, actually, there are people who have packed a shoebox for many years, and I think uh, it's a good uh, reminder that, yes, they are going to children, and God is doing incredible things with the shoebox. It, Todd, obviously there's a lot of folks that are involved in the Operation Christmas Child, from the, Billy, from the, the Franklin Graham level all the way down to the volunteers. It's, it's really the volunteers that really make this a success. Oh, my. Mark over 500,000 volunteers around the world make this project the success that you're mentioning. That's phenomenal. Again, 500,000. Mm -hmm. As you're, you move forward, what, what are some of the ways Operation Christmas Child is continuing to, to try and make that impact? 
Well, not only when we think about the gifts that go in the box, those are the fun things, but it's all about making an eternal impact. And so we offer a 12 lesson discipleship program called The Greatest Journey. So many of these children are having an opportunity to be discipled in the love of Christ, how to walk with Him, and then we teach them how to share their faith. And last year alone, over 502,000 children gave their heart to Jesus Christ. Just an amazing number, Irina. I mean, how are you trying to, to make a difference? Well, I just, I, it's my story. God has changed my life. And I just, I just share what God has done and remind people that God is great and He, he loves us all. And uh, it's my privilege to do so. Yeah, I mean, we talked about it earlier, a simple hair clip, a pencil sharpener, just proof that God can take anything and really use it for His good, that He's got a, a master plan. And it's just, it's, it's nice affirmation seeing things like these uh, happen on, on a basis like this. Mm -hmm. That's right. And actually, I want to encourage people to remember to put a letter and a photo of their family in the box because that was the most loved item by far because it gave the children a, a connection, a, a sense of belonging to someone. Todd, what would you like to see people put in the boxes? Well, I'm going to piggyback on what Irina just said, but Franklin Graham would say, make sure we're praying and putting prayer in the shoebox. Some people may not understand what that means, but pray for the child, like Irina, who is going to receive that shoebox, praying that it will have that et eternal impact that I mentioned. All right, thank you very much. Todd Edwards, Operation Christmas Child Regional Manager, Irina Creek, who was impacted by one of those shoe boxes many years ago. Now, this year's drop-off dates here at TV44 will begin November 17th. As we get a little bit closer to that date, we can get you some more specific times. And stay tuned to TV44 for those times. And if you're needing shoebox supplies, your church can order them at SamaritansPurse.org.